What's the password? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. What is the password? You know, friends, hey, you know, today everything is about passwords. To get on your computer, you need a password. To get into your bank, you need a password. You need a password for everything. So you're gonna need a password just to remember all the passwords. In our own lives, the truth is, we also have passwords. And this week's Torah portion is a beautiful moment when we are told that after Moses, God gave the Torah to the Jewish people, he told Moses to come up the mountain. And he turned to Moses and he said, Moses, I have a gift for you today. The gift is, I want to show you something. I want to teach you a very important word, a very important phrase. And anytime the Jewish people are not behaving and you want to ask for forgiveness, say this magic phrase and that will be the secret password to appease me. And sure enough, in this week's Torah portion, when the Jewish people did the deadly sin and the grave sin of the spies, and they didn't believe in God's ability to bring them to the Holy Land of Israel, Moses said the magic words, and God forgave them, the 13 attributes of mercy. That was the password that God gave Moses in order to always have the ability to forgive the Jewish people. Why am I sharing this with you? Because I believe, my friends, that in our lives, we also all have a password. We all have a certain password that we hold on to that anchors us, that keeps us strong, that keeps us focused, that keeps us going. I'm sure throughout your lifetime you've had opportunities to hear a Torah thought, to hear an insight, an idea from a rabbi, a teacher, from a Torah book that you studied that really touched your heart. And you filed it very deep within you. And you held on to it. And when you're going through a difficult time, it comes back to you and it reminds you what it's really all about. That is your secret password. My question to you this week is what is your password? I have a password too. In fact, I keep it in my wallet. I have a piece of paper in my wallet where I keep a certain teaching that I learned from the Rebbe that keeps me going, that reminds me what it's all about. So when I'm feeling overwhelmed or verklempt or worried or concerned, it realigns me, puts me in the right frame of mind. As I wish you Shabbat Shalom this week, my friends, I encourage you, ask yourself this question. What is my password? If you don't have one yet, now's a great time to reach out to a rabbi, mentor, or friend. Find that password. It's probably there deep within you. Just bring it out to the surface. Hold on to it. Because when you need it most, you could just latch on to it. And it will be your anchor and support. Shabbat Shalom. And always remember your password.